Good evening. I'm Noah. And I'm Noah. Hello, Noah. I'm a voice impressionist, which essentially I get paid to talk to myself. And uh, it's fine, except when I'm sitting in a doctor's office that's a little awkward because you're sitting there. Christopher Walken decides to come out. These magazines. <laughs> Look over at the wife or husband sitting next to each other. They grab their kid a little closer. It's fine. I'm at the doctor's for something. You don't know what it is, but uh, this year is a very crazy year. You know, mass, corona, craziness. The most asked for impression is probably who? Nancy Pelosi. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's Donald Trump. It is Donald Trump. Uh, so Donald Trump is, is very interesting. Uh, he can answer a question and, and take so long that the asker forgot exactly what he asked. <laughs> Frankly, and I know a lot of Franks, we are probably looking at the answer to one of life's biggest, the bigliest of questions. It's probably something that we've seen before, but I'm sure we're looking at it, we're looking into it. We think it's something we might answer, we don't know. We're looking, we're looking at the problem, we're looking at the solution to the problem. And he just keeps going on for like freaking like 20 minutes. Uh, now, Donald Trump, you know, he did one good thing, at least to me, he did one good thing. Well, two good things. One is comedy. There's a lot of comedy that came out of four years. You can hate him, you can love him, but he's still funny. That's great, I love that. That's why people like Bush, <laughs> whatever. Um, Obama you couldn't make fun of because he was just like, uh, well, it's great to be here. You guys are great. You know what you're doing. You don't laugh at all the jokes. And you're pretty funny. Um, but the one thing he did, and I wound it back, when I was a kid, when you're a kid, your parents tell you, you can do whatever you want when you grow up. You can, you can be an astronaut, you can be the president. Every, every mom's like, my kid's just gonna be the president. He's so smart. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, then you discover a thing called school. And if you're like me, school's okay. You're not great, you're not getting into Harvard, you're not failing, you're just like, if you ask me to get a C, oh, gosh. Gosh, gosh. You asked me to get an A, I'm going to struggle a little bit, but if it's in gym, you get an A. That's, that's what we're doing. But anyways, then 2016 rolls along and Donald Trump becomes president, and the dream is back. Anybody can become president at that point, because Donald Trump's done it. So then I'm thinking, I'm like, ooh. What other celebrities can we get to be president? So I come up with a list. So here are my favorite celebrities uh, who I would want to become president. The first is Jack Nicholson. <laughs> well, what do we have here? I'd love to give a State of the Union address, but I took a Valium and I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> The next would be Matthew McConaughey. This <laughs> now here's the deal. As my first presidential order, we're going to reinstate Casual Tuesday as end of Friday. That means no shoes, no shirt, and you just still get served. Yeah. So, <laughs> and the next would be the late and the great Robin Williams. Washington, D.C. Yeah, this is not a test. This is the Democrats fighting all over again. Oh my goodness, do you hear that thunderstorm? Nope, that's just Mitch McConnell getting hit in the head. Boop. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. God wins. Rest in peace. Um, the other thing uh, about Donald Trump, and uh, you excuse me, i uh, take a second. The floor kind of hard. <laughs> so hard, I forgot my own joke. Uh, I think in retirement, Donald Trump should start Trump Grams. 
I think it'd be fun. Because Donald Trump gets away with a lot of stuff. He can say whatever he wants. He had the whole, you, you grab him by, you, you're not going to say that way, but you just grab him. Let's put, they let you do it. But he can say anything, and the media makes fun of him for it, but he gets away with it. He just does. He just does. The rich, they'll let you do that. But um, I, think, I think that he should, have, he should have Trump rings, and you pay him money, and you go and you tell him something that you can't say to somebody else, but he'll go and do it for you. Like, for instance, your sister has a baby. You know, whenever, had, whenever someone has a baby, they're like, isn't he so cute? And you're like, yeah, he's adorable. But in your head, you're like, I hope he grows up. <laughs> you can send Donald in and be like, well, quite frankly, and again, I know a lot of folks, this could probably be the ugliest baby we've ever seen. This baby is so ugly that Jeb Bush decided to run for the sexiest man alive. Because Jeb could do it. Jeb finally saw a face that was uglier than his. You know, you could also send him as a breakup. He could break up uh, with your girlfriend, boyfriend, what have you, husband, wife. He could go in and be like, well, quite frankly, I think you're a loser. I think you're a big little loser, and I think that you don't do a lot of winning. Quite frankly, we're all about winning. If you don't win, then what are you doing? And I think we need to end this because it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> And that, and that would be great. He could also do, I think you, you'd never get anywhere, but you, he could also do like the, the GPS, you know? Um, he'd be driving along, all of a sudden you're like, in a quarter mile, you can take a right, or probably, not for sure, but probably, you could probably take a right. We don't know, but you could. You could take a left. We think that's we think that's what you could do, or you could go straight. You could go for a long time. You could go so long that it's like a filibuster. You don't know when it's gonna stop. But it never ends. It keeps going. It goes and so. And you're just so freaking confused. You don't know what's going on. You're just like at this point, you've like crashed into like the ocean somewhere. But anyways, thank you. Uh, I know.